Good day all, I'm Lorraine Boeta and um, this is my program The Scepter and uh, why do I give this name to my program is that the Lord give us as children of God the scepter, the authority in His name to do what He asks us to do. Um, I just like to read a scripture to you this morning that spoke to me um, over this season that we are in with this lockdown, with this coronavirus, that so many people are being driven by fear. Um, and the Lord gave me this uh, um, scripture in Matthew, I just want to get it quickly, in Matthew 6 verse 14 and 15. For if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their sins, your Father will not forgive your sins. A while back, um, almost a month now, I'm busy with the Word of God. Um, He's giving me so much revelation um, with His Word. And He, he sent me a voice note of a lady that um, had an experience where she almost died and uh, she went to Sheol and she was laying there and she was calling him and asked the Lord for mercy and grace and he only spoke one word to her and he said that she was a Christian she uh, were baptized by the Spirit of God and but he said this to her, you must reconcile with this person. And he showed her six faces of people she could not forgive. And he said a mighty thing through her. He said that you are a false prophet for your children. And she was laying there and she said, Lord, but how can that be? Because I'm a Christian, I'm being baptized by the Spirit of God. But now he said, I'm a false prophet. He said, because you cannot forgive. And you show your children not to forgive. And she said, before she can be reconciled to him, she must forgive them. It was seven faces the seventh face she didn't saw because she knew that was jesus himself she has to go first and forgive the word says forgive them that sin against you it's not them it's me i have to go and forgive and i know that so many people hear about this they know the scripture they know but we are so much into the word or manifestations or uh, spiritual teachings that we the Lord showed me that we have to come back to the basics when we started as a born believer we are like babies we are so vulnerable and we only want to sit on his lap and hear his voice but when you grow up and you become a teenager you don't want to listen to your mother or your father anymore. You will listen to everybody outside the house, but not the mother and the father. It's just like that in the body of Christ as well. When you grow up and you become like a teenager, you listen to all the people all around you, but you don't come back to the voice of God. And I don't say that all of them are doing that. I'm saying, just listen. What is the enemy busy doing in the body of Christ? This is busy creating diversions so that people are getting so high and mighty with teachings and with their um, grades and all this stuff that you as the believer must come back to the voice of God. So he said to me, I have to start in Matthew, Mark, Luke and John and then go forward. 
Um, I don't say I don't believe in the Old Testament. I don't. I do believe in the Old Testament. But I want to listen to the words of God. Where Jesus spoke in the red in your Bible. Most, most uh, many Bibles don't have that anymore. But my Bible do have that. Where Jesus was, spoke and it's highlighted in red. Um, so I wrote, and the first thing he spoke to me about was in Matthew four, um, six, Matthew six, verse fourteen and fifteen, where he says, "Forgive other people when they sin against you." You didn't do that, you didn't deserve that, but you have to go and ask for forgiveness. Wow, that's a big, big place of humility. Can you go to a person that you know has something against you and you have to go to him and ask, please forgive me? Wow, that is a test of humility. If the Lord Jesus came in the flesh to die on the cross for me and you, why can't we do it? We are so busy with spiritual things and spiritual stuff and teachings that we forgot. We are busy forgetting the main words of God. We can, we can, like, just like that lady, we can miss Him and we can go to hell. And when we open up our eyes there, we're going to be very angry with the Lord because we're going to say, Lord, but why didn't you warn us? And he's going to tell you, but I gave you my word. We are listening more to people and pastors and leaders today as to the word of God. We have to go back to the word of God. We have to go back and read it aloud on our own and stop listening to everyone. Yes, they are there to help us when we are babies, to teach us how to read, teach us the gifts of the Holy Spirit, teach us the manifestations, teach us uh, about the enemy and the devils and the demons and all this stuff, but we can't put them above the Word of God or above the Lord Jesus Christ. We have to come back to Him and listen to the word of God. And the first thing that we can miss him is not to forgive. So I want to bless you and ask you, do you have forgiveness in your heart? Do you have unforgiveness in your heart? Do you have someone that you know of has something against you? then you have to go and reconcile with that person before you can reconcile with God. Wow. Let that word sink in and listen when the word of God speaks to you. It spoke to me. It spoke to me. Let us come back to the basics, the words the Lord spoke to me and you. That is found foundational scripture for me and you. Wow. So I bless you in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ and just stay in his word. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.